Yo guys, what is going on? I'm here to bring you guys back to the anime review here. Today we are having Seven Deadly Sins episode. God knows how much it is. What is it? 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 Episode five. If you guys are enjoying the video, give the video a thumbs up. This little channel series itself, and then let me know your thoughts about it down. Comment you down below, and how. I guess you could say, how do you feel about the relationship between Bon and Meliodas? Because I did not expect the relationship to be like that. You see in the opening, they're drinking two chugs of like alcohol, alcohol together. So you think they're like, they're like bros. You know, you think they're cool. Seems like they're not. Seems like they have some sort of history. You know, they have some beef. Bon apparently tried to go against something that Meliodas is not comfortable with. Because apparently Meliodas has some sort of backstory. We don't know yet, but it seems to be about this girl that he keeps having a flashback about. They even showed in the opening multiple times of him walking into some like deserted castle like castle-ish area and it's like a girl there and we, we see that multiple times multiple times so maybe gil thunder something to do about it i don't really know but if gil thunder did he'd probably be more mad at him instead of laid back i don't necessarily know it just seems as though maybe there's some beef behind it maybe she told him some promise to keep this sword alive because he's you're wondering or keep it around because you're wondering why does he have broken sword and i still don't know to this date uh mega readers probably know please don't spoil it but i don't know to this date it just doesn't make any sense to me why he's have broken sword around you know but maybe it's because this girl probably maybe maybe it's definitely because this girl probably like promise told him to promise her but like her dying wishes was to keep this sword around keep it relevant maybe keep continuing the use of it i don't know something like that so, i'm assuming something along the lines of that it's got to be something along the lines of that because if not well then i don't really know what to tell you then if not i don't really know i'm just assuming that it's that and if it's that i'm hoping it's that if it's not then i have no idea but bond apparently tried to take it and that really pissed off meliodas the first time in his life he's actually been pissed off if you got to think about it he's a sin of wrath okay and wrath is always angry but you got to think about it in anime you haven't really seen wrath be angry now maybe it's because my okay wow maybe it's because i haven't watched all anime you know, consider with the Seven Deadly Sins, I've only seen this, Seven Deadly Sins, Nanatsu no Taizai, and then I've seen Full Metal Alchemist deal with the Seven Deadly Sins, and Wrath is none other than Fear Bradley, and he, of course, can get mad what he wants, but most of the time he's calm and collected, so, like, what is it with anime and calm and collected sins of, like, Wrath? Why? What the heck? Like, what's his face? Envy? What's her name? Envy? She is way more, way, 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 way more angry. Probably because she's jealous 90% of the time, but like, she's way more angry than Meliodas. Maybe Meliodas is so powerful, he's gotta be the leader, he's gotta keep that image that he can't really break down and be mad. Which, I could understand that does make sense. It would make sense. It would 100% make sense. Now, of course, Bond tried to take the sword and he cut him along like the neck and going down to his chest. So now we know where that scar came from. And that's a scar where he actually cannot remove. So now we know where that scar came from. And he said it's an unhealable scar. Remember the first time when he broke out of jail. And he said that he can't actually heal that scar. So, um, didn't really go into detail to what happened after that. But he just swept him out there. And then here we are, you know. So, we can also see uh, Melios is anger as well. It seems to me as though when he becomes angry, he can actually go into a different state where he can't remember anything. It's like a Kurama Nine-Tailed Fox kind of way, you know, like where he doesn't remember anything after what happens, you know, it's kind of like that in a way, because when he became angry, he just stopped. He didn't remember anything. He's like, where are we? What just happened? Who's that guy? Like, what? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, well, mm, that was definitely a thing. That was definitely a thing. I thought it was pretty interesting as well. Um, that one of the, uh, what is it? One of the, um, ah, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? One of the holy knights actually got a hold of both Meliadas and he got both a hold of him and the sin of envy. I always forget her name, but they got a hold of both of them. Uh, I guess he like put them sort of like trance. Uh, you put them in, like some sort of trance because they keep assuming that they're actually the holy knights and actually fighting each other. So I guess he put them in some sort of trance where they can't really necessarily see properly. And that is the downfall of them. So that actually could be, it's a huge downfall so far. They really can't do anything about it. The only two power assets that they actually have. And it seems to be as though that Melinas is really, I guess he cares for uh, Bond. Maybe they fixed it up. Maybe they patched up things. I don't really know because right as the doctor died he's like all right let's say the doctor's daughter first but the entire goal of you getting slashed by gil thunder and nearly dying was to find out where bond was of course other sins but bond is one of them so like contradiction or much i think much contradiction or much you know but you guys let me know how you thought about it down in the comments down below who do you who do you think is your character so far that we've seen 
I like Meliodas. I will forever like Meliodas. One of the one of those rare shows. I actually like the main character. My favorite, you know, very rare. Uh, I'm liking that. I've been seeing a lot of Bond lovers as of late. Bond is a badass, but I'm still liking Meliodas at the end of the day. And uh, that's going to be it. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. And with that being said, I am out.